What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex here, and you're watching the Rage Nation show. This is just a web series where we're talking about all things that matter to me in the world of upcoming films. In this episode, we're going to follow up on a topic that I discussed about previously in another episode about the Godzilla vs. King Kong crossover film and also Pacific Rim 2 being delayed. Let's first start off by talking about this crossover film with two of Hollywood's most iconic monsters or at least two of the most iconic monsters in film. That would be Godzilla vs. King Kong, which is a film that we're eventually going to see in 2019 or 2020. And apparently, and this is news to me, I just found out that Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary wants to have King Kong vs. Godzilla as a film that's part of a trilogy. And get this, that film is not the first film in the trilogy. Apparently, they want Kong Skull Island to be the first film in the trilogy, and then Godzilla 2 to be the second film in the trilogy, and then Godzilla vs. King Kong to be the third film in the trilogy. Isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> I think that's a weird decision. I almost feel like they're, they're a little bit too bent on these cinematic universes. I mean, it doesn't have to be a trilogy, and I can understand how they're all connected, but still, not everything needs to be a cinematic universe. I mean, I understand why they're trying to make it the kaiju cinematic universe after all. It's what helps sells the movie because when people see that, okay, this film is part of that film and this film is part of that film and if they enjoyed the previous film, most likely they'll want to see what happens next in this next film. I get that. But still, not everything needs to be a cinematic universe, okay? And I know that that is the trend now. I mean, it is the trend now right now in Hollywood. But I think it's kind of sloppily done. I mean, Kong Skull Island is part one. Godzilla 2 is part two. And then King Kong vs. Vs. Uh, Godzilla is part three. But don't forget that Kong Skull Island is actually a direct prequel to King Kong, which came out in 2005, which was a film from Universal Pictures directed by Peter Jackson. But Kong Skull Island is actually a film which was which is being made by Legendary Pictures and distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. <laughs> Competing studios with Universal Pictures, all right? So um, that's a little bit weird. And this is happening way after we've already forgotten about what happened in King Kong, all right? And to top things off, why wouldn't Godzilla 1 be part of this trilogy? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think it's kind of sloppily being handled. And I think that uh, uh, Warner Brothers and Legendary are really going about this the wrong way. I mean, I mean, why not you just make a Godzilla film and then a King Kong film, have them not connected with each other, and then make this Godzilla and King Kong film and not have it be a trilogy. I mean, King Kong and Godzilla could uh, versus Godzilla could potentially be a trilogy, a trilogy on its own. But just have Godzilla be its own entity. Have it be its own franchise, all right? So that you can have Godzilla 1, Godzilla 2, and Godzilla 3, and let that be a trilogy, all right? So I don't know where they're going with this, but they decided that they wanted to make it a trilogy, and it's actually happening, okay? Now, a lot of people are really concerned about uh, size, okay? Because size does matter, and that is the slogan for Godzilla, and it's suggesting that Godzilla obviously is a bigger monster than a lot of other monsters out there. He is, after all, the king of all monsters. So, um, um, the, uh, the people over at uh, uh, Warner Brothers, or rather Legendary, decided to address that. And, it said, and they said that there were funny comments about him having to be the size of the Empire State Building instead of hanging off of it. Legendary is confident it can come up with a rationale to explain how Kong and Godzilla can do battle and possibly become allies. So it's possible that they could be fighting each other first and then later on they're going to find that they have a common enemy, obviously being humans, or another monster, another kaiju. All right, so maybe the humans are just in the background. And, you know, obviously you're going to have to involve the, hu the human military. You're going to have to involve the human military no matter what in a realistic uh, situation. I mean, in the realistic sense of the situation, okay? But, just like Godzilla 1, 
there's possibly going to be another kaiju, and because of that, um, this kaiju probably hates both K King Kong and Godzilla, and that's why they're going to have to become allies. And I think that would be a better story than them going up against the humans, because you'd have to make the humans be the... Uh, the main characters, and then you're going to have to throw in a love story in there, and then, you know what, nobody cares at this point. So just make it a full-on kaiju battle. That's all I want, okay? So that's what I got to talk about uh, with regards to the news of this film, but we got to talk about another kaiju film, and it involves robots, and that is uh, Pacific Rim 2, Maelstrom. And in a previous episode where I talked about this, I mentioned that it's possible that Pacific Rim 2 or at least the production of Pacific Rim 2 has been delayed. It's put on it's being put on delay and it's mainly because of um this 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 whole King Kong Godzilla situation. They, they want to put more energy into making these films as opposed to Pacific Rim and Guillermo del Toro can't seem to get a break. So Pacific Rim 2 or at least the production of it has been delayed. It is unfortunate and other headlines are stating that Pacific Rim 2 has been delayed indefinitely. The production has halted. They're originally supposed to be filming in Toronto in November. The production has been halted. Now that's what is being stated in the headlines right now but Guillermo del Toro decided to make comments on that and respond to the headlines and apparently he says that uh, the production of Pacific Rim 2 has not been completely halted. It hasn't been completely halted uh, but it has been delayed and that is, uh, that is a fact. It has been delayed but uh, Guillermo del Toro is still working on Pacific Rim 2. Okay. Now don't, don't get your hopes up 100%. First of all, I'm just going to read this quote to you, okay? He says, We are still turning in a screenplay, screenplay and a budget in three weeks. As far as I'm concerned, it's not gone. We're still on it. It moved further. I may do another movie in the middle. I can tell you this. If I was a billionaire, I would definitely do Hellboy 3 Pacific Rim 2 and At the Mountains of Madness, and I would quickly become a millionaire. Okay, so uh, let's ignore those millionaire comments right now. Uh, but the fact is that he is still working on it. And you shouldn't lose hope. But it, to me, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. He's been trying to get Hellboy 3 off the ground for a very, very, very long time. Not happening. The studios don't seem to want to make it. These films, I mean, and by these films, I'm talking about Hellboy 1 and 2, they don't seem to make enough money for the studios, okay? And because of that, Hellboy 3, even though Ron Perlman wants to have it made, and also Guillermo del Toro wants to have it made, the studios just aren't having it. They don't feel like spending the money to make what is would, what wouldn't be considered a worthy enough uh, return on investment. The same thing could possibly apply to... Uh, uh, Pacific Rim 2. Sure, these movies made a lot more money on the on the international market, but still, they feel like they want to focus their uh, their money on producing other films like Kong Skull Island. But as for Pacific Rim 2, production is being halted, and as far as I'm concerned, it's still being halted and has been postponed indefinitely. And Guillermo del Toro, he can. He can put as much work as he wants to on it. And he has put a lot of work into it. But no matter what, this movie still hasn't, it isn't seeing much progress. He's been talking about this for over two, over two years. Okay. But we're still seeing the same result. And that is nothing. Nothing has been happening. Even though they said they were going to shoot in November in Toronto, still there are forces against him. And that is the very studios that employ him. And that's really unfortunate. So, what is going to happen? I don't know. I won't even put that much hope into it. I was excited about it being made, but now I'm no longer excited. Even though they say that it's going to get made, it can be delayed again. And that is because it's a film that just doesn't draw in enough domestic box office numbers. It is unfortunate. $400 million is great. $500 million would, been, would have been a lot better 
to the point where they would decide in a heartbeat that Pacific Rim 2 will be an instant green light. It's not that film, unfortunately. So at this point in time, it's still being delayed. And I would say that it won't be talked about by the studios for a while, which suggests that it is exactly what the headline suggests, and that is Pacific Rim 2 has been delayed indefinitely. So Guillermo del Toro's comments really don't mean a whole lot. The people front the money say no, and that's your answer right there. So I'm quite disappointed, to be completely honest. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about a crossover film with Godzilla and King Kong. And at this point, do you even feel like you should even wait any longer for Pacific Rim sequel? I was excited for it, but I'm no longer excited for it anymore just because there's no reason to get excited about something that doesn't seem to be like it's going to actually see the light of day. All right, so there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. Guillermo del Toro can't seem to ever get a break. His franchise films don't seem to work. <laughs> and I feel sorry for the guy because I, I like him as a director. Anyways, as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. In fact, I think that he's the only director that can touch this film and actually make it work just because of him and his